Okay, Sam. So now I'm going to start your uh, technical snap for NPCI, NPCIL stipend training. Yes, sir. Okay, so you want to give your snap on which subject? Sir, uh, strength of materials. Strength of material. Okay. So how you define stress? Stress. Sir, stress, uh, I mean, it is the intensity of the internal resisting force developed in a body due to load acting on it. Okay. Hum, whenever, we, whenever we apply load, sir, it applies some internal resisting force. That internal resisting, fo internal resisting force per unit area, we have stress, sir. Okay. And what about uh, pressure? Sir, pressure is actually, it is a normal force acting on a body due to surrounding fluids, sir. Per unit area. Okay. Mm, it is always acts normally to a body. It is actually acted by the fluid yeah. in yeah. other bodies. Normally, we take like that. Okay. Mm. Or now tell me whether stress comes first or strain? Sir, strain comes first. Spain comes first. Okay, very good. And how you define shear stress? Shear stress, sir. Huh? Shear stress. Uh, it mean when we apply shear first, sir. It applies some internal resisting force, just like normal stress. So it is the load which is actually applied parallel to the our body, like our plane. So that. Force per unit area, we get shear stress, sir. Okay. And how you define strain? Strain, um, whenever we apply load, sir, the body will elongate. So that elongation with rest, I mean, divided by original length of the body is called strain, sir. Okay. And what do you mean by resilience? Or, I mean, if we take a bar like mild steel, if we apply a load, it will elongate. At the same time, it will absorb some energy. That absorbed energy is called resilience, sir. Okay, very good. And how you define resilient material? Resilient material is that material which will absorb energy when we apply load on it, sir. Okay. So where it is used? Uh, in springs, sir. A spring, very in good. Spring. In springs, like watches, like in uh, some springs for tennis, sir. Yes. I mean, I mean, in wall pe lagate, us watch ko spiral tara, tora spring hota hai, usme bhi use karte hai, sir. Okay. Okay, so let me tell you one thing. Uh, suppose you have a shaft whose one end is fixed and another end is free. Yes, and sir. if it is subjected to a twisting moment at mid span, then how much stress induced uh, at the free end? At the free end, stress, sir? Yes. At the free end, the stress. Oh. Tell me. If we apply a torque on midpoint, sir, at uh, at the midpoint we apply, I mean concentrated couple. Yes. Sir, it will be 16 T by pi d cube only, sir. Like whatever we have in that body, at the midpoint we have same stress here also. And how much ex uh, angular twist takes place? Angular twist is mm, with the couple. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I mean, ML by AI. Sir, that will be more than point B, sir. Whatever we have at point B, sir, we have at point C, that will be more than that. Okay.
Okay, so my one question. Let's say uh, if I talk about Mohr circle, correct? Yes, sir. Have you studied Mohr circle for stress and strain? Yes, sir. So let us assume. Suppose you have a uh, you have a strain Mohr circle. You have a correct. Yes, sir. More circle for strain. Yes, more circle for strain. So, if you want to represent mm -hmm. maximum shear strain, correct? Yes, sir. Then yes, either sir. can be it can be represented by diameter or radius of the more circle. Sir, uh, for maximum shear strain, you have to take the diameter of more circle, sir. Diameter, very good. Yes. And how you define elasticity? Elasticity is nothing but ability of material to retention and ordinance of when uh, where we, we remove the load that we applied earlier. Mm -hmm. mm, I mean, when we apply loads, in other, it will deform. If we deform that material and, up, I mean, within, before the plastic deformation only, if we remove that load, that will try to return to the original position. In other. That mm -hmm. ability is called elasticity, sir. This is elastic limits, correct? Sir, elasticity, I mean, ability of the material to return to its original position shape is elasticity mm -hmm. only now. Okay, and how you define Young's modulus? Young's modulus, it is uh, ability to resist, I mean, actually, by formula wise, it is the ratio of the longitudinal stress, normal stress to longitudinal strain, sir. Mm -hmm. But in a, I mean, practical purpose, uh, if we apply lo lo some load now, sir, mm -hmm. the ability to resist the deformation of a body is called modulus of elasticity, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and what is the difference between resilience and proof resilience? Sir, like, I mean, can I explain it through graph? Yes, yes, why not? Sir, one sir. Right. sir, this one graph, no, sir. Both yes. resilience and proof resilience, both are the actually energy absorbed by body only. Mm -hmm. But the proof resilience is the maximum energy that we absorb, no, sir, up to the elastic limit on the load versus deformation curve. That is called proof resilience, sir. Like in this, here in this diagram, we have point A is elastic limit. I have taken point A as elastic limit. Whatever the area under this point, you know, sir, that will come under proof resilience. But before that, whatever the energy absorbed by the body is called resilience, sir. Okay. Like maximum energy absorbed by body up to the elastic limit is called proof resilience. And resilience is the energy absorbed by body before the elastic limit, sir. Okay. And what about, uh, what about its uh, unit? Sir, unit Units. Yes. Units of uh, resilience. One minute, sir. Sir, Newton mm or Newton meter, sir. Like energy. Newton per. Newton mm, sir, not for like mm, Newton mm, like okay, energy of units. Sir. Uh, Newton millimeters. Okay. And what about modulus of resilience? Sir, both are having same units only, sir. Both are same? Yes, sir. Resilience and modulus of resilience both are same. Oh, sorry, 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 sir. I thought that is proof resilience. Modulus of resilience is a proof resilience per unit volume, sir. Sorry. Yes, very good. Sir, sorry, sir. I think actually I thought like you are asking proof resilience. Modulus of resilience is proof resilience per unit volume. The resilience is nothing but just energy absorbed by body. 
Okay, and similarly, if I talk about a, a toughness, so what about its unit? Toughness is Newton mm only, sir. Modulus of toughness is Newton mm per unit volume. Okay. Newton millimeter mm or per Newton meter per millimeter cube. Joule per millimeter cube. Correct? Ah, joule per volume. Yes, sir. For uh, modulus of the Yes, Newton per millimeter square or Joule per millimeter cube. Yes, sir. Correct? This is called either uh, modulus of toughness or modulus of resilience. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And strain energy is always measured in terms of modulus of energy. Yes, sir. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so Shyam, uh, I think your preparation is uh, excellent. And keep your preparation continuing, correct, till the interview. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Correct. And you have given all the answers. I can't expect from diploma students. Even I, yes. I also can't uh, expect from the engineering students. But you have given all the answers, correct? Yes, so sir. all the best. Yes, sir. Uh, do you have any question from me? Sir, I mean, strength of materials, I mean, what are the various types of questions they can ask, sir? We also, we provide uh, a questionnaire on this subject also. So, you just go to the website and download it, correct? Okay. Like, what are the various types of questions? Like, uh, uh, yes, sir. Like, what I'm asking is, I mean, like five topics, I mean, for, what are the five major topics that they can ask through strength of materials, sir? Mm -hmm, yes. Like that thing, sir. Actually, the, you prepare around three to four subjects for NPCIL because this is research. This is a nuclear power plant and its interview is uh, similar to BRC interview. Correct? Yes, and sir. they only focus yes, on technical portion only. So you must uh, prepare at least four subjects. Sir, I am trying to prepare SOM, thermodynamics, and fluid mechanics and ice engines, sir. I am okay. so I am little bit good in SOM and TD, sir, compared to other. Mm -hmm. So and when I went to sir. Actually, interview date is not given yet. They have conducted the exam on, I think June fourth or the time after that. Hmm, they candid, they released the list of candidates who are qualified for interview. But after that, they have not told us anything. They just told to visit the website regularly. We will get the interview date. Okay, okay. Okay, so no issue. You keep your preparation continuing, correct? Yes, sir. Like, sir, yeah, yes. sir. Like, Sometimes demotivate hoja sir like padan man mein nahi lagta. Demotivate mat. Tum padhai karo, padhai padna achhi baat hai na. Apart from preparation, knowledge lene ke liye bhi padhai ki jati hai. And if you read a good book, then definitely you feel uh, very comfortable and uh, enthusiastic about a uh, uh, new concepts. Like demotivate ho. I'm getting demotivated sir. That's the reason. Demotivate like, mat. After preparation, definitely will get selected on this exam. So don't be dead. Like, 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 the mother well is different thing. You have a core technical interview over 100% transparent. If you yes, properly sir. answer your power, then you will definitely select it on this. Okay. Correct? So, you still have to okay. Okay, sir. Okay, all the best. Okay, sir, everything is correct only told by me. Yes, yes, everything is correct. That's why I'm surprising. Okay, sir. Like, this one, no, sir, like, Slope at a free end of a body when we apply a couple at a cantilever on a cantilever. Okay, so after two or three days, you will give one more snap on this subject. 
and uh, in that one i will cover uh, cover uh, a shear force diagram bending moment diagram then more circle and uh, some important concepts re related to uh, deflection of beam correct okay sir that so is you will give after two or three days okay till now you prepare on it correct okay 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 all the best Thank you. Hmm.